Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Oh my god, this feels really weird recording so I haven't recorded for so long. I'm using a different camera to the usual camera, like my main camera that I usually film with, so bear with me because I'm gonna like see how this goes and then if this doesn't work, I'll go back to my other one. But life has just been lifing. When I've been up to things over the last sort of few months, I have been um, getting footage to put in a vlog. Like I took loads of footage on my birthday. I haven't sort of got enough footage of each thing to put it all together in a cohesive way. <laughs> in this video, I just wanted to jump back on and say hi and sort of show you guys, like catch up with you guys. And I thought I'd put it all in one, you know, like a big catch up video. Um, most of what's been going on with me is like life admin stuff. So like nothing interesting to sort of chat through in a video. <laughs> it's just been like life stuff. Um, and it's just had me super busy. Do I look like I'm wearing a school shirt? Just like, anyway. What are the sort of updates? Are that India started school? I can't, I can't and I can believe she's at school because she's, she was really ready for school. I feel like for a little while, like at nursery, I felt like she was really ready for school. But yeah, that's the other, that's the other like big life change that's been going on in our little household. And the other huge thing that's been going on is my new jewellery launch as well. So um, obviously it's, it's been quite quiet on my channel to do with the launch so far. I've been um, posting on my, in, mainly on my Instagram about like the new pieces into the collection, but I want to show you guys the pieces on camera as well, because I haven't sat down and like chatted them through, shown you their sort of idea behind each one and things like that. And I'm so like, obviously I'm going to love the pieces because it's my own collection. <laughs> But I'm just so in love, like honestly. If you're new here, it's called, my line is called Sammy Maria Jewellery. Um, more recently, I tend to just call it SMJ. Just so, I just quite like it, it kind of like rolls nicely. My whole line is um, based around different locations across the world. So places that I have a particular connection to, that I have really like fond memories from. And the thing is, at this, at this weird time in life, obviously, where we, you know, there's been such a long lockdown, COVID, I've not been traveling, I've not traveled anywhere since the beginning of it. And um, so where is usually at this point of the year where I'd be, you know, launching, I would usually be looking to do a new um, collection on a new location. But because I haven't been away, I thought it would be a good time to extend the lines that I already have. So not all of them, but it's an extension of Ibiza, London, and there's one piece to add on to the New York collection. Um, and honestly, I I love that I've been able to do this because it's, it's really nice to, you know, broaden the lines that I already have. Before I show you everything, the website is linked down below. I'll put it down below. It's just samuelmaria.com. And um, the pieces are available in gold and silver as well. Okay, the first piece I'm going to show you is called the Tommy Locket. This is a functional lock. Actually, I'm going to do some cutaways so you guys can see clearer. But this is a functional locket necklace with engraving. The first thing that ever um, got me obsessed with lockets was a film called um, A Little Princess. I used to watch that when I was young and um, it made me really obsessed with lockets. <laughs> and then like growing up when, I, when I'd get pieces of jewellery or like kind of start collecting jewellery, I never really found them anywhere. Um, or you'd, so, you'd see them in like market, mar sometimes in market stalls in London and things. Um, but I never really had one. I never like had one myself. So I've, in the back of my head, I've always just loved the concept of a locket and having a little picture inside and everything. It just makes that piece of jewellery that much more uh, special and deeper and, you know, a treasure. So I've wanted to make a locket for the longest time. And then I thought it would be perfect in the London collection because it feels like the type of piece of jewellery that would be passed down through generations in family as a family heirloom. Um, so yeah, this is the Tommy Locket. I called it the Tommy Locket because I felt like a, a really feminine name didn't suit it. I felt like it could be quite a uh, unisex type of piece, especially in silver. And um, to open it, you um, 
unthread the chain and you can use you can obviously put the locket on any chain it doesn't have to be the one that I've shown you um, and then it opens up at the top and then you can put a little picture inside I need to I want to print out um, the, in the right size one of indie and then I actually my first idea um, for this piece was to actually thread this pendant through. Add this pendant, which is the Carter pendant, next to it like that. I think that looks very um, authentically like a family treasure in that way as well. Like you've just added on, you know, more special pieces. So yeah, that's the Tommy locket. And then I'll show you, this will be much easier in close-ups because it's a bit smaller, but the Carter coin pendant, this is a little bit more dainty. Um, it's a lot smaller than the locket. If you prefer your pieces to be a little bit daintier, a bit more feminine. Um, not that the Tommy isn't feminine at all, it's just, you know, a bit of a stronger shape and everything. Um, so this is like a pearl finish in there and it's just really, oh, this is just amazing as well to layer with. I'm gonna put this on. Okay, next I'm gonna show you the New York the new New York um, earrings. These are called the Hudson earrings. Um, this is how they look when they come, obviously, in the box. They have a really nice thickness. For me, I feel like these are such a nice, sleek, um, contemporary design. I hope you can see that there. But these would definitely work for day-to-day -day wear. Yeah, these, I'd say, you know, if your style's a little bit more sort of minimal, so yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea, like size-wise as well. Like, can you just see how they catch the light as well, like even from afar? Because they're such a flat design, it's really nice, like if it catches the light really easily. And then I've added three pieces to the Ibiza collection. And the Ibiza collection is so, well to me anyway, it's very different to the other two. I, the Ibiza collection is more inspired by like the rugged rock, like okay, so I think, um, the nature around Ibiza, not as much like the party scene or whatever. It's more about like the natural beauty that's that Ibiza is, or sort of is around the the coasts, the coastlines. So like the shapes of eroded rock, um, natural ebbs and flows, or an arc. You know where um, you know where land erodes away in the sea, and then it's an arc is left, a natural one. That's the sort of feel that I'm going for with the Ibiza collection. Um, and you know, that tied into the really nice, like carefree boho spirit that is there as well. Cause that is what I fell in love with. Like when I first went there, this is it's so hard for me. Cause I don't want to be like, oh, there's a favorite piece. But these are definitely up there. As I'm putting these on, I'm going to show you a little cutaway of the Indra hoops. I have been wearing these non-stop. Might have to do another little cutaway. They're so wearable, like because of the size, they're not too big. They're not a, an annoying big hoop size where like they might get caught on something. Like they're just very sleek, but also they have such, you know, the, I love the natural curve, cu curve or curves that they have to them. I love it when jewelry looks sort of hand carved. Some of the other Ibiza pieces have um, a bit more of a textured finish, but these are obviously a very sleek finish. So I think they just work, they would work well for daytime or a night, uh, you know, night, night wear. And then also like, hopefully as you can see on my ear, uh, they work really nicely for layering. I'm just so obsessed. Like, oh, also if any of you guys order any of these pieces um, or order them for someone else or something. I would love to see you guys in the pieces. If you um, take any pictures for the gram or anything, please tag the jewellery, Instagram and or my one because I would love to see it. The other day I was in, um, I was in this little crystal shop in Shoreditch. Oh my God. And this girl comes, came up to me to say hello. She was wearing a pair of my earrings and that was the first time that that's happened and I was like, Oh my God, I can't believe it. Anyway, <laughs> also, hi, if you're watching, it was so nice to meet you. Um, and then I'll just show you, I'll show you guys the last two pieces, which are very, very similar to each other. Again, I'll show you a little close up. This is the Katina chain. So this is 
I, oh, do you know what? I just obviously, as I've said, love layering, layering different types of chains and necklaces up together. And I like the look of slightly different, you know, finishes. Um, so I wanted a chain that complemented the other chains in my collection. And this one is quite a light one, I feel like. Um, it's quite, it's quite dainty. It's quite feminine. For example, this one and the Carter coin necklace would give you a really nice, very delicate, you know, um, look. But it just works with anything, really. So. So, yeah, this is the Katina chain. And you can obviously adjust it to go to go wherever you want. You can wear it as up here as a choker, or you can have it quite long, so it's down this, down here. And then I have my first anklet, which you can also use as a bracelet. So now we're obviously going into autumn, winter, I'll be using this more as a bracelet. But I was so excited, and I'd wanted for so long to have an anklet in the collection. It's the same chain as the Katina chain, but I put, <laughs> I put on it, a little um, sort of like gold nugget that falls down and then on the end there can you see it's like a little gold nugget it's so cute <laughs> yeah so yay that's my little chat through all of the new pieces I hope you guys really love them as much as I love them and um, I've been honestly I've been dying to show them properly like sit down and go through them properly I think to kind of round up this catch up video, I'll end with like some clips from my birthday. So for my birthday, I, I did like a few little things actually, but um, mainly like on my birthday, I went with Indy and stayed in central London because um, I live like on the outskirts. So I just thought it'd be nice to like have a little staycation with her. I'll put all of that footage in now. Do you wanna get label? Oh, the paper's lovely, isn't it? Who's my favourite? Nine one five. Can we? Can you find nine one five? Okay, we're just finding our room. Go on then. I think it'll be a bit further down. Nine no, seven. seven. Nine nine nine. nine. Tap it. Hold it there for a sec second. Bit. That's it. Bathroom. Teddy. Oh my goodness. What can you see? Look at a view. Wow. <laughs> that, that's my mommy. That's... And now I'm gonna show you the bathroom. Okay. Everyone. <laughs> hey guys, it's my birthday. So we've just got to the to our room at Treehouse Hotel. So yeah, we also need a bit of lunch. Let's go and get some lunch. Let's go get some lunch at the I festival, yeah? I thought I'd show you guys the room. This is um our room in the Treehouse Hotel. I just wanted to stay here because it it's a really homey feeling um um hotel. This view is amazing. It's Regent Street. So I just changed my top because I was like, oh, I don't feel like wearing white today. Um, yeah, that's what I changed it. Hello to the pizza! <laughs> hey. So we've just got to the festival. I think it, they call it a festival. Um, Indy's got some mango. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the entrance to this place looks amazing. Bye -bye. <laughs> wow! We just came out of the dinosaur show and um, I got some food. Um, I got the vegan bowl. And then these are like deep fried sweet potato. Okay.
um, I'm showing Indy what a magic eight ball does. So I've been asking it questions. It's mommy going to get dressed. <laughs> What's it say? Turn it around for me. Signs point to yes. <laughs> Let's see. Is mommy gonna get apple juice? Oh. It has an answer. Oh, my reply is no. Just ordered some coffee. Got some mini croissants. Yeah, I just love this little seating area by the window. I was sitting here last night, just chilling. And, um, yeah, it's just so lovely, like with the view. Okay, we're saying bye to the room now. We're gonna go and have some, uh, oh, <laughs> some late, yeah, some late breakfast. Um, how cute is this as well? This is a little cuckoo clock with an actual little, little cuckoo. She likes this. We got some waffles. This looks so good. Just went to the Disney shop, which was super cute. And uh, we just sat outside to Selfridges for a really quick and snack. I'm eat, and I'm eating pineapple, and Mummy's eating yucky feet. <laughs> Look. Okay, Indy has her kids um, arthritis. This is the cutest thing ever. Looks It's good, yeah? Okay, and then I've got my caviar starter, which was going to be the veggie option actually, but they've given me the actual caviar. <laughs> So we had such a nice little afternoon tea. Now, heading back home. We're done. We're done in London. We've done a lot while we've been here. <laughs> oh yeah, she's got a teddy as well, bub. Show her from the teddy. So yeah, gonna um, just jump on the train now. Like I said, I hope you guys are all really well. Hopefully it won't be another three months. Um, thank you guys for watching. I am sending all my love. I hope you're all really well. Bye guys.